Today I'm going to be making something that is just perfect for summer, for picnics, for family gatherings, for dinner, for snacks, because we're going to be smoking chicken legs with barbecue sauce. So before we get our chicken legs out here, I want to get a rub ready because we're going to have a rub that's going to go on them and they're going to sit in the refrigerator for a few hours. Then they're going to go on the smoker and after a while on the smoker with just that rub, then we're going to sauce them to finish them off. So for our rub, we're starting off with two teaspoons of granulated garlic. Next, we're going to add one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of kosher salt, one teaspoon of cracked black pepper, and half a teaspoon of cumin. Gonna close this up, give it a shake. There we go. Let's get our chicken legs out here and get them ready. What we're working with today are about a dozen or so just normal little chicken legs. And what we're gonna do first to get these ready is we're gonna get the skin off because we're not gonna be going for any sort of crispy skin in the electric smoker today. We're going for flavor on the meat. So we're just gonna get in here and get the skin off of these. Now, it's a little slippery, obviously. If you have a paper towel, just grab a paper towel. Use that to pull the skin, comes right off. Get our next one going here. Also pull off any little bits of fat that tend to be sticking there. Sometimes you'll be able to do it without the paper towel. If you have other, any other little bits that are just stuck there, take your kitchen scissors, trim them off. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting the skin off of these and then we're gonna move on to getting the rub on them. So we have our chicken legs in a bowl here, and we're just gonna go ahead and start sprinkling our rub on them. And as we do that, we're just gonna move them around in here. Make sure everybody gets some. That little hit of the scent you get from the cumin is gonna go great when we add our sweet barbecue sauce later. A little piece of a bone right here. If you see anything like that, just go ahead and take it off. A lot of times people say, why don't you use a shaker when you make a rub? Sometimes I do, but honestly, I just prefer doing it this way. Just personal preference. Another little piece of bone there. That's why it's always good when you're getting something like these pre-cut, you know, packages of chicken legs to check for little pieces of bone that might've been left in the processing. Make sure everybody's getting some on every side here. They're gonna get tossed around in here, so the rub's gonna get mixed on, but we wanna give it a head start with a good coating. Now we're just gonna sprinkle the rest on here, move everybody around. All right, these are ready. They're gonna go in the refrigerator now, covered for about three or four hours. Then we're gonna get them out to the electric smoker and get these guys cooking. All right, the Charbroil Electric is running at 244 degrees. Our target temp today is somewhere in the 250 range. Anywhere between 225 and 275, I'll be happy. And I'm burning hickory today. The wood box is about half full of chips and I have my ambient temperature probe on the top level grate, and I have a little piece of foil on the bottom shelf just to catch a little bit of the extra drips, but it doesn't go edge to edge because we want that smoke to be able to move throughout the chamber. So let's get this opened up, and get our chicken legs on. Place our legs in here, probably six or seven per rack. I'm just gonna use two racks today. All right, let's get this closed up, and get these smoking. So these chicken legs are gonna go for 40 minutes at 250 degrees here to start. We're not gonna do anything to them, we're just gonna let them absorb that smoke. After 40 minutes, we'll do a quick temperature check and then we're gonna add some barbecue sauce to them. And those are gonna go probably for another half hour to 45 minutes until they're done. But done will be when they're 165 degrees internal, so we'll be waiting for that temperature. Now I could throw an internal temperature probe in there, but my experience with chicken legs is you tend to get some false readings just because of the proximity of the bone. So I'll use the instant read thermometer to confirm temperature as we get close to being done. So I'll see you back here in about 40 minutes when it's time to sauce these. So we've been going about 40 minutes. The Tribrail Electric's right around 235, below that 250 that I was shooting for. But like I said, anywhere between 225 and 275, that works for me. So it's time to get these chicken legs out of here, get them sauced, and we'll do a quick check of the temperature. I got some of that nice smoky color on them. So let's go ahead and get these out of here, get them into a foil pan so we can sauce them. Mm -hmm. 
those already have a great color on them and a really nice smell. So I want to get to sort of a baseline temperature check here. So that one's showing about 122, 129, 130. So we're in like the 125 to 130 range, it looks like. Perfect. So now we're going to go ahead and get these sauced. What I'm using for sauce today is a barbecue sauce that I made the other day. I did a video on it. I'll put a link in the description and I'll put a link up in the corner of this video. We're just going to put a good amount on here that we can spread around on everybody. This is a honey maple barbecue sauce. You just want to get in here, and get your hands dirty, get everybody coated. You don't want it to be soupy on them, but you want a good coating. All right, that looks good. Let's get them back on the smoker. All right, we're gonna get this closed up. Probably gonna go for another 30 to 40 minutes. We'll check them after 30 and see how we're doing. All right, we've been going about 30 minutes. Let's give it a temperature check. Let's take this guy. We're looking about 136 here. So that's, you know, moving fairly slowly. We're not going at a high temp here. We're at 250, 141. So we're in the, you know, upper 130s, low 140s. I think we're gonna go probably another 20 minutes before we check again, but that should get us closer. All right, the smoker's running about 250-ish right now and it's been another 20 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and give these a check. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be close to done. Uh, those are looking really good. <laughs> Look at that color. Now we're gonna be saucing these some more before we actually taste them inside, but let's see where we're at here. That is 164. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna check one on a lower shelf here. I think 164 is close enough. I think there's enough carryover in these for one degree. That is 166. All right, we are good. We're gonna get these inside, let them sit for just a couple minutes, and we're gonna sauce them up and have a taste. So here are a half dozen of our smoked barbecue chicken legs. Hopefully the color's coming through because it's really, really beautiful. You get that darkness first from the rub and the smoke and then that sauce that we put on at the end. Looks great, but we're gonna put some more sauce on it right now. And I am not gonna be shy with saucing these. These are gonna get coated because this is some good barbecue sauce. And I mean, come on, if you're already gonna be picking up a piece of food that's got its own built-in handle, make it a little messy. Messy and tasty. Oh, look at that. Let's make sure we get some on the front here of all of these on the top. There's not a lot more I can do to these. So it's time to taste. All right, so this is probably gonna be just a little bit messy, but I don't care. This food warrants getting a messy face and messy fingers eating it. So let's dive in. Is there anything on my face? Seriously, look at this. That is phenomenal. That rub underneath the sauce, like I said, is a perfect complement to the sweetness. That little tiny bit of cumin, a half a teaspoon in there over this entire thing, really brings out, for lack of a better term, that sort of southwesterny flavor. This is exactly what I was hoping for in results. Juicy, flavorful, good smoke flavor from that hickory. And with chicken like this, I really do like hickory. Mm. So if you find yourself with a bunch of chicken legs, give them a good rub, have some sauce ready. If you have an electric smoker, use that. If not, you can do it on the kettle, the grill. Give them a little bit of smoke flavor, some thyme, let them develop this color and this flavor. You've got the perfect food for dinner, for picnics, for snacks, for anything. I won't be able to stop with just one.